Welcome back to the next article in the DeFi educational series. This is number 10, and it's going to be part one of cross-chain staking. So there's going to be multiple articles on this one, probably because there's so much info that can't be packed into one article. <laughs> but the Divi DeFi platform will give you double the earning opportunity with not much extra work. In an industry first, learn how. So yes, this DeFi series is showing you how to tread the DeFi space safely and what to look out for. So if you haven't followed the all the rest of the articles, you really should. I do have a playlist for you guys on my channel. Just click on it and find them all here for you with links to the previous articles as well. But let's go over this on cross-chain staking. What is it? What is cross-chain staking? Well, cross-chain staking refers to staking tokens on one blockchain and earning rewards in tokens on a different blockchain. This enabled by using a cross-chain bridge, which allowed for the transfer of assets between two different networks. Divi's cross-chain staking will provide additional earning opportunities for token holders, enable deeper liquidity, and create interoperability between different blockchain networks. It can also allow for more decentralized and secure validation of transactions, as stakers on one chain can help secure another chain. Now to understand how to access Divi's cross-chain staking rewards, let's revisit a few things we discussed in the previous articles, um, like the Divi slash eDivi bridge. Like, how does this work? Well, you can use Change Now for it, or you can even use the Divi platform. I'm pretty sure you can use that wallet to transfer from Divi to eDivi. But yeah, a user would deposit 100 Divi, and in return, Change Now, or wherever you do it, will send you 100 eDivi back. And yeah, that's how simple it is. But bridges. As we learned in the bridge article of layer one Divi can be equally exchanged for an Ethereum wrapped version of Divi enabling access to the Divi platform. This new token is known as Divi ERC20 and is commonly referred to as eDivi. The Divi that is exchanged for a Divi ERC20 at the bridge is deposited into one of the Divi's patented staking vaults. While the Divi is vaulted, it earns staking rewards while continuing to secure the Divi blockchain. As staking rewards are generated in the vault, an equal amount of eDivi is automatically minted onto the Ethereum blockchain to ensure the one-to-one -one ratio is maintained. Now, simply crossing the Divi bridge will not qualify users to access the cross-chain staking rewards, and some additional steps must be taken. Keep reading as we will explain below. So yes, one user provides equal value of eDivi and Ethereum to the eDivi liquidity pool. Users receive LP tokens that representing the liquidity provided and earn transactions. So liquidity, as we discussed in our yield farming article, users who provide liquidity to the eDivi slash Ethereum liquidity pool are presented with additional earning opportunities. The liquidity providers are given LP tokens representing the liquidity they provided and earn a proportional amount of the transaction fees for the trades on the trading pair. Now, when liquidity provider chooses to remove their liquidity from the pool, the remaining balances of eDivi and Ethereum and the accrued portion of transaction fees can be realized. Now, cross-chain staking on the Divi DeFi farm. Uh, users will receive the LP tokens and stakes them at the Divi DeFi farm. Users, uh, one, users provide equal value of Divi ERC and Ethereum as liquidity to, to the eDivi and Divi pool, and users receive cross-chain eDivi stakes in proportion to the LP staking weight, so you will be receiving eDivi as a reward. Now, this here is where the double dip comes in. In addition to the fees earned from the liquidity provisions, the Divi DeFi platform offers participants an innovative way to earn that has not been seen before in the crypto space. Cross-chain staking rewards are a unique new way to double dip on the rewards you can earn. After providing liquidity to the Ethereum slash eDivi pool, users can take an additional step and stake their LP tokens at the Divi DeFi farm. Opening up a secondary earning opportunity, staking the LP tokens on the farm is key to accessing the cross-chain eDivi stakes from the vaulted Divi at the bridge. Now, the newly minted Divi ERC20 tokens from the bridge are then delegated to the LP token holders in proportion to the LP tokens, staking weight and age. Users will be able to claim or harvest their rewards at their discretion. However, the accrued rewards will not automatically be deposited into the user's wallet. They must manually claim those rewards. So in conclusion, participating in the Divi DeFi providing liquidity and yield farming will help create a healthier trading market with deeper liquidity. And by participating in Divi's industry first cross-chain staking, you can take advantage of earning opportunities on different blockchain networks while also helping to secure and validate transactions across multiple chains. 
Compared to layer one staking alone, this innovative approach will offer you the ability to earn even greater rewards. So yes, next up will be the layer one staking versus cross-chain staking. So that will be part two of this series. But yeah, so that's like the two ways. So like the traditional way where you finally can get into liquidity pool stakes, you have e and Ethereum as a pair, you'll earn liquidity pools. Then if you want to double dip, you'll take those liquidity pool tokens and put them into the Divi farm, and that will give you even more earnings on top of that. So yeah, so this is our first one. And again, the next article to come will be on layer one staking versus the cross-chain staking and where the differs hem, where the differs come from. But yeah, great article here, very educational. You may need to do a double read on that. And if so, the link is in the description box for you. Or again, you can find these articles all on diviproject.org. Just click on the blogs and they are all there listed for you perfectly. But I hope you enjoyed this article. And if so, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.